Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well and welcome back to another lesson in our blog series where we're going to be adding and editing subcategories. Now, this was requested by one of our users, Aiden. So if we just go to our channel, um, Aiden asks, how can we edit the subcategories? Right, so then I obviously said I will make a lesson for it and yes, so this is what I'm doing now. So basically, I want to show you how you can edit the subcategory. Let's do that. Right, so as you can see, just to give you guys a demo, so if we go to our subcategories, so we basically get all our subcategories here and we can obviously edit them and obviously we can create. Right, so let's go to Visual Studio Code and see how do we set it up. Right, the first thing that we do is in our categories, in our routes folder, and our categories, as you guys remember. So what we have done, what I've done is I just created an index where we get basically all our subcategories. So basically I created a, a, our URL name is slash subcategories, so categories slash subcategories, and inside our category controller, I just created a subcategory method, and then obviously the name of uh, route name of categories dot subcategories. So if we go into, so basically this is the new part right here. Let me just give you some space there. So this is the new part that we added. So if you can pause the video and add that as well into your control in your routes file, and let's go to our controller. All right. So inside our controller, basically we this is the method that we're referring to right here. The subcategories right there is this method that we're calling. All right. So when we call that method, we're calling returning a view. So basically in our subcategories folder right here in the categories. All right. Inside our folder categories, we created a new view called subcategories.blade.php. Now all I've done in here is basically I copied everything in the index method and just pasted it in here with a couple of changes. So what I've changed is I just removed the subcategories inside here. And then obviously we're going to iterate over the categories, but this categories that we're passing through as a variable here comes from the controller categories right here. Now category with subcategories where not null the parent ID. And remember, of all the categories, the main categories, their parent ID is null. For the subcategories, their parent ID is not null. And then we get them right here. So let me show you in the view again. So in our view, we basically iterate over that categories. So let's go to our browser and see. That. And so in our browser, basically, these, these are the child basically the subcategories of the main category right here. Now their parent ID is not null, but the, cat pa the category is the main one, their parent ID is null. So the holidays is null and the camping is null, but these ones are not null, all right? So how do we edit the subcategory? Uh, basically, we just edit it a normal way. So if we click on the edit, you will see it brings out the parent ID and obviously the name of the category right there. So let's go to Visual Studio Code again. So we will get to the edit part now, but this is basically our index, right? Then this is obviously our grade is the standard one. We haven't changed anything. We didn't, don't change the store method. We, the thing with the edit method, we just need to pass the categories as well where the parent categories right so in the edit method i just pass the category with subcategories where null the parent id so basically right and then we pass that variable to our so we pass them the category with the categories so let's go to our edit view in our edit view basically i write an if statement all right you guys remember when we create the category so let's go there so when we create the category, we pass obviously the categories as category. And so in order, if it's, if it's not selected, it is null. If it is, the category is selected, it is basically the parent ID will not be null, okay? So in the edit view, basically what we have done now is, 
if it is not now the category parent ID. So basically the category ID that we're passing through here, this category. All right. If that category's parent ID is not null, then show us the select form. So basically what that means, if it is not null, it means that category have a parent ID. So basically then we pass through the categories that we just passed through here, these categories, all right? And then we iterate over that categories. But now what I've done is the categories as main category okay now the main category is basically the main category this one right here that i'm passing that i'm iterating over okay because i don't want this main category to conflict with our category that we're passing through here all right so this one right here okay so that's why i'm giving it a different name all right now what i've done now is let me just give us some space here so what I'm checking, I do a ternary operator. If the category parent ID, all right, is equal to the main category dot ID, then we put selected. If it's not, then we leave it empty. Okay. And then we're obviously putting the main main category dot name in there. So basically what I'm checking is if the category dot parent ID, so meaning, if we this category that we're passing through this category right here, if its parent ID is equal to the main category ID, so basically the main category ID that we're passing through here. So I'm repeating myself just to kind of make it clear for you guys. All right. So if that is equal to each other, then we put selected. If it's not, it will leave it empty. Right, so that's the only change we do in our edit right there. So basically, uh, just pause it and for yourself, and then you can just copy it in your edit. Okay, but let's go to our to our browser again, just to kind of see how this all works. So if I go to my subcategories right here, right, in, let's say I want to edit. If we go to our categories right here, you can see climbing is inside our camping but if i want to change it to be in holidays let's edit it okay as you can see it now it selects the camping because the category id parent id is equal to the main category id right so let's change this to um, holidays and update it now as you can see it changed from camping to holidays because what we have done now in our update method let's go to our update so in our update method is basically we just change the parent ID to be the request ID. So that's all we have done. So that's a, another change we have done. And obviously we redirect to the route, to the main route as well. So if we go back again, so if we go back, let's edit, let's go to our climbing again and let's edit it. Instead of holidays, I want it to be camping and update it again. So now it goes under that category. So in the subcategories, it's created a new one. And if we select, you guys remember, if we select one, we create a new one. I'm just going to say ski or no, just ski. Let's keep it like ski. Okay, let's create. So under the camping, now as you can see, it's got a subcategory. Now if I edit that and move it, now basically I'm going to subcategories. If I edit the subcategory and I change it to holidays instead of camping and I update it, it moves it to that subcategory. All right. And obviously you can edit the name as well. So let's go to our subcategories. Let's edit the name as well. Let's, give, um, let's say change it to something else. Blue sky. Just, just something different. All right. As you can see, it changes the subcategory there as well. Now, all this kind of stuff, like I've shown you, not too much changes in the controller. The only thing that you do is you just add the category parent ID right here. And obviously, the big thing is right here, when you pass, you have to pass through the categories as well, uh, where it's null. 
when null because this is the one that you're going to check against your parent id of your category right there so let's go here and if we're inside here we just do a ternary operator to check this right here i hope this is all clear as mud um for you guys so basically now create just remember just copy everything here and just paste it inside here and then just change your categories to main category so that you can distinguish between this category and the category that you're passing through from your controller right here this category that you're passing through here when you iterate over the categories just give it another name like main category so that you're not confusing the two when you check them here okay and that's basically how you edit subcategories okay Thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions, um, you can just leave it in the comment section and I will kind of try and explain it to you in there. And please, if you like the video, give it a like. And if you don't like the video, please give it a dislike. And yes, if you guys have any more uh, questions or anything that you want me to make an extra video for you guys about in this, in this blog series, because later on we're going to do an advanced blog as well where we will be able to to comments on the blog uh, likes uh, subscribes and a user's kind of orientated blog where you know like a whole big functioning block so this is just like a beginner's guide block but we can do an advanced block later as well i don't want to promise anything but that's the plan all right so yes so if you like it, please guys, give it a like. And if not, dislike. Thank you guys and appreciate you guys liking it and leaving comments and viewing obviously the blog. Thank you guys. Cheers. Goodbye.